Today, I'm taking a train to Mombasa, a vibrant city nestled along Kenya's coast, where Indian Ocean caresses the shores and the scents of spices fill the air. Mombasa is a cultural blend of Swahili, Arab, Indian, and European influences. It's a place that has its own customs, tradition, and cuisine. Join me on a journey as I explore the culinary delights of this enchanting destination. I'm loving this. What a great, great place to come and eat bangs for sure. Welcome to This Food Bangs, guys. So we have just boarded the train to Mombasa. It's a six hour journey. It is a rigorous process when you're getting on the train. You know, the security checks are quite intense. Um, you have to make it on time. They are very, very prompt. If they say 8 a.m., make sure you're there at 8 a.m. These guys will leave without you. But after all that rigorous process, we have made it on the train. We are on the way to Mombasa, uh, one of the oldest cities in the world. Um, the train ride is quite epic. It's so, so epic. You're, you're seeing so many things as you, you know, take this six hour journey. You are coming across all different kinds of wildlife. I've seen an elephant. Um, it's an experience, it's an experience, obviously, do it once, <laughs> do it once, like I said, it is quite a lengthy journey, um, we got just the economy, so it's quite tight, and um, very, very tight, it's quite uncomfortable, I'm currently just stood around trying to stretch my legs and stretch every muscle in my body, because it does get a little bit cramped, um, tickets cost a thousand shillings, I think that's around... God knows, about tenner. I think, I think, or if not less than that. Um, yeah, man, but so far so good. We're almost there. We are almost there, but it's been intense. I've been sleeping the whole journey. It's just, it's, once you see the wildlife, it gets a bit dull, uh, but it is an experience for sure. Restaurant. What would you say? Is, 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 um, is it like a restaurant? Is it? This is a Swahili restaurant. Swahili restaurant. Yeah. There are no more restaurants and there are Swahili restaurants. Right. So <clears throat> this one is called Barca. Barca, yeah. Barca restaurants, yeah. Right. And it is very common in Mombasa. Yeah. And most people like to come here on Friday right. because uh, they usually have uh, these offers yeah, on Friday. Right. In Mombasa, in Coast, we usually say like Friday is the day to eat biryani. Right. Yeah. So it's a Friday meal? Yeah, it's a Friday meal. So the biryani rice, uh, is Swahili people usually like it very yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. In Kost is like uh, one of the most uh, staple food in Mombasa. Yeah. Then here, this is chicken. Chicken. There yeah. is chicken biryani yeah, yeah. and there is beef biryani. Okay. So this one is beef. Yeah. Uh, and then this one is pilau. Pilau. So you see pilau, there's a difference between pilau and biryani. Oh. This is mutton pilau. Yeah. Yeah, and this one is chicken pilau. This one is chicken pilau. Chicken pilau, yeah. Yeah, then as we move, uh, this one is uh, uh, coconut, beans. coconut beans. So this is we coconut co beans. Yeah, yeah, we call it maharagwe. Maharagwe. Yeah, maharagwe ya nazi. Nazi is coconut okay. in Mombasa. Ma maharagwe ya nazi. Maharagwe ya nazi. Maharagwe ya nazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nazi is okay. coconut, coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's it, a Swahili. Thing. Yeah, oh. it's a Swahili. Oh, wow, I see. I see, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, Swahili like to cook with coconut. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. very nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one is uh, chicken. Green. Chicken, yeah. Green. Chicken, yeah. It is called tikka. Tikka. Chicken tikka. Very nice. Okay. She love a test. <laughs> and, uh, so this is that's the Indian part that comes in, isn't it? The chicken tikka. The chicken tikka, yeah, 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 yeah. The Indian sort of. The Indian sort of, yeah, yeah. Chili inside it has. It is very nice. It is very nice. Nice, okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. And these are. So this is chicken biryani. Right. Yeah. In Mombasa, in Coast, they really like. Uh, this chicken biryani, mm. it has more spice than pilau. Right. Yeah. You know, there is pilau and there is biryani. This one has more spice right. and it's more nice than pilau. Really? Yeah. So, <laughs> Ooh, 
it smells good, man. It smells good, yeah. <laughs> it smells really good. You can really smell the... You can, you can also try this uh, chili. They try the chili with yeah, you, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to try the chili because Kenyans are scared of spice. <laughs> you guys are scared of spice. What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, we are scared of spice. <laughs> but you guys like spice. Huh? We love spice. We love spice. That's what it's about. So uh, I just mix it up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So as you can see, so this is the stew. It's the stew, the yeah. and the chicken is cooked in the stew as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How is it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's nice. I told you. I love it. The stew, it's a tomato stew, so it's quite sweet, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a little bit of acidity. Yeah. But it's got a little bit of sweetness as well. Yeah. If you have ulcers, uh, it's not good for. Recommended for people who have ulcers. Oh really? This? Oh yeah. Old stomach problems. Really? Yeah. Oh, because wow. of the spice. Wow, yeah. But this is not spicy, man. Come on. You Kenyans, you say it's spicy, but it's not spicy. This is not spicy. Nah, man. I'm, give me spice, man. Today, you're gonna, this, that's your mission. Your mission today is to give me spice. Give me spice. Yeah, man. Let me try like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Do you know what? It reminds me of the food back in Ghana. Rice and stew. Chicken stew. We always have it. Chicken stew, yeah. Why do you guys like spice so much? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I have no idea. They're like Indians. Hey, have you tried Indian food? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why we get on so well with Indians. Yeah. They don't, they're not afraid to, to you know. They're not add, afraid of the spices. No, they're not afraid of the spices at all, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Very nice. It is very nice. It is very nice. If you see the chicken there, yeah. you can tell that, that that stew has really cooked the chicken through, so you really get the taste of the, yeah. of the stew. Yeah. You know, I'm a businessman, so I, have to, I travel a lot. Oh, sometimes I'm in Mombasa, sometimes I'm in Nairobi. Mm. Sometimes I'm out of the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I like Mombasa, the weather, the food. Mm -hmm. yeah. You like it better than Nairobi? I like Mombasa food than Nairobi. You know why? Why? Nairobi is more of uh, burgers and fast food. Yes. Yeah, chips and you know, yeah, sausages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas here, it's, it's and more to authentic. Me, yeah, it, I don't think uh, it, it's healthy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then Mombasa, you say our food is natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Juice. Tamarind Very juice, nice, yeah. uh, coastal juice. Coastal juice. Yeah. So we can't get it anywhere. You can get it, but uh, in in coast is more sweeter, nice. They mix it with ginger. Oh wow. Yeah. Let me smell it first. Mm. Oh yeah, you can smell the little bit of the ginger. ginger. Yeah. And it's got Very like nice. a sour. Yeah. Mm. Oh, awesome. cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> wow, this is very nice. I man. told you you like it. Mm. Mm. Awesome. It's quite sour, mm -hmm. but it's quite light as well. Now this is the Viazi. This is called the Viazi, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think he's also. Oh, she should try it. She should try it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you try it. You I'll eat try it. it. I'll, yeah. I'll try it. So what? You just put yeah. the sauce there? Yeah, and you can add them. Where's the other chili? Oh, they oh, have they taken it. it. They took it. And it's, cut, uh, it on the, cut it into half. Yes. Okay. You can see. Uh, now have a taste. Okay, so yeah. if you can have a and look. And then mix it with sauce. So if you can have a look, you see there? Ah, nice. Oh, wow. There goes your chi. Uh, <laughs> pili pili, we call it pili pili, pili, pili yeah? Yeah. Okay. Pili. Right. Just gonna dip it in there. Mm. You like it? And this is breakfast? Yeah. Oh, you lot are living life now. <laughs> My goodness, they're living life. Yeah, they're living life, huh? <laughs> My God. You can get fat easily. Easily. You can also breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> My breakfast is oats, honey, uh, banana. <laughs> wow. Now this, this is amazing. Yeah. It's got a bit of spice to it. It's got a bit of a kick. Mm. Even before I dip it in there. Mm. But the coating as well. Oh, it's already, it, it, it has a spice, yeah, eh? it already has a spice. Oh. I think this is the spiciest food I've had yeah. in Kenya. It's really good. It's really good, yeah. The potatoes, it's like mushy potatoes in the middle. Yeah. That is really nice, man. That is so good. Yeah. I like it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> huge, huge fan. And you've got bits of red onions in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Gives a bit of a sweetness as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. What else can I see there? Nah, it's, it's amazing. Right now, because this right. is this is for Jesus. Yeah. Now this is the oldest building in Mombasa. Yeah. Yeah. It was owned by the Portuguese. Mm. 
Fort Jesus was built by the Portuguese in the late 16th century. The fort was strategically positioned along the East African coast, serving as a stronghold for the European powers seeking control over the lucrative spice trade routes. During that time, spices such as cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg and black pepper were highly prized and in great demand in Europe. So what's this place called then? Mm, this place is called uh, Mamangina Waterfront. Mamangina? Yeah. Mamangina. Mamangina Waterfront. Yeah, it used yeah. to be called Mamangina Drive. Mamangina Drive. Yeah, but now it's called Mamangina Water, Waterfront. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a place where you can just come, you chill, you relax, yeah. you eat, you can come with your families. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a place to relax. Okay. Yeah. It's good vibes here. You see everyone just sitting mm -hmm. down, relaxing, yeah, yeah. enjoying the ocean breeze the, and whatnot. The view. The view. Yeah. Okay. It's therapy, by the way. It is, it is. It's therapeutic yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah one hundred. So this one is Kachiri. Kachiri. Yeah, yeah. we call it crepes, uh, coastal crepes. Huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sure you guys have chili? And uh, you can be served with uh, chili or without chili. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right, without chili. I don't know if you'll have a taste. Oh, I'll have a taste. I'll have yeah. a taste. Why not? Let me also test one. It's a crunch. You like uh, flavor? Mm. Spices? Mmm. Mm. This is really nice. And this one is uh, ukwaju. This is ukwaju. It's a, tamarind. Mm. It's a tamarind. It's also tamarind. You so you can mix it. Sure. This will be plain. Oh, this okay, is so good. Mm. This is better than crisp. Mm. Hold it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> very sweet. It's nice, I can't lie. It's very, very delicious. Very nice. It's very tasty. Mm. 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 It's a big deal here. Yeah. Big deal. Big deal. Cassava. Cassava. And you just fry it. And you cut, they cut it as thinly as possible. Yeah. I'm going to show you. This is doing it now. <clears throat> So this is coconut, huh? Yeah. It's very healthy. Uh, for men, yeah. it gives you uh, yeah. nine, li nine lives in bed. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Let us for my sake. Yeah, when you drink the juice every day. Okay. Really? Nine yeah. lives in bed? No yeah. woman will ever dump you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's the juice? It's nice. Mm. Nine lives, yeah? Yeah, nine lives. <laughs> uh, yeah, these crisps are very, very, it's got more to it. It's not just like any type of crisp, it's got more yeah, of a yeah, bite, more yeah. of a crunch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Mm -hmm. And this cassava as well. Yeah, cassava, yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the tamarind, it gives a very good taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 sauce from Rivers. Rick, Eric is a local that lives in, uh, what, he lives here. He's been all over Kenya, but he, he loves it here. Um, why do you love it here so much, Eric? Why? I love it here because uh, uh, I was born here. Mm. I'm a big businessman in this town, mm. and the people are friendly, mm. and uh, it's also peacefully. Mm. It's very peace, it's a peaceful town. Mm. And, yeah, and it's uh, more welcoming. Yeah, 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 and it's easy to do business. Okay, yeah, okay, easy okay. to move, no traffic jam like mm. Nairobi. Mm, 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 mm. In Nairobi, there's a big, uh, there's a huge traffic everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I usually do business in Nairobi as well, mm. but I prefer Mombasa to be where I stay. Okay. So my other business, I can just do it on phone. Yeah, yeah. The Nairobi ones and some other parts of the country. But Mombasa is very nice. Also, like the weather. The weather is yeah, nice. Here, the weather yeah. is it's very nice. It's yeah. amazing hot here. It's, it's blistering hot. Yeah. It's heat. I know you like it too. You like oh, it too. I love it. I love it, man. Yeah. yeah, it's always raining in London. So this is this is this <laughs> makes a change, man. It's a nice change. Yeah. Welcome to Diani, guys. We are on the beautiful coastline of Mombasa. We've worked our way from Mombasa right down to Diani. We're on the beach, catching the vibes, catching some waves, scenery galore. Yes, I am in a tuk-tuk on my way to try some swaggy food, so I'm excited. So that was it, we've just take, I've just taken my first tuk tuk in Diani. Let's go see what he's saying. Come on. Toast. 
tell us a bit about this restaurant because um, Swahili Pot it's made a name for itself. Yes. Um, what separates you from the rest of the other restaurants in Diani, which is now a tourist destination? Yeah, actually, the, what we decided, I used to work in the hotels. Mm. And then I noted that uh, there's no hotels and you know ownership of the hotels are foreigners. Mm. There's no hotel which is taking the local food serious. Mm. So when I left, that's when I opened Soily Port as well as African Port. Right. And I always keep the setup looking as much as possible to give that feeling of being in a village. That's right. That's why you have trees around the shelters and and then. And uh, we normally make sure that we employ people direct from the village. Right. And then we train them ourselves. Wow. As opposed to getting people from the hotels, the, the hotels on the beach. So you don't want it to lose the essence? No, the substance. essence, exactly. We are here um, at Swahili Port um, in Diani, and it's known for, you know, making and serving the general public or tourists the best Swahili food in Diani. Yeah. So we're here, here we are. <laughs> I'm here with a lovely Pauline who is having, uh, what's it? Uh, she decided to go for a chicken pilau in the end. Um, it's, we've been on the hunt today. We've been on the hunt for good pilau. So her pilau, basically essentially what pilau is about is the rice is, is cooked in cardamom pods, um, turmeric, rice turmeric, uh, cinnamon sticks. You get all this in the rice and lots of other spices, which gives it a fragrant smell. You got banana with it, yes. so that's the interesting thing. So I didn't really know. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Right. So this is the first time I'm hearing this. Because it's so spicy, it sweetens it up and it cools the flavors down. They say it's spicy. They say it's spicy, but I don't really think it's spicy. Right? You know, Kenyans, everything spicy to them. It's mild flavors. I've tried it, but I'm gonna try some now. I'm gonna try it with the banana. Nah, banana and rice. Wow. Who would have thought? No. I love the rice on its own. But with, with like the banana, yeah. My dish, you've got a lot of flavours there. So you see the, is this beef. So as you can see, you've got the beef right there. You want to try some in it? She's getting... <laughs> it looks juicy, I can't lie. Healy dishes. So first, you've got different, so what it is is that it's served with different sort of um, sauces. You've got this curry sauce and you just pour it over the rice okay and then you've got this chili sauce yeah and you pour that over the rice as well okay and then you mix it up now you're gonna get just an explosion of flavors going on here and i'm just gonna mix it good mm. wow like i said the rice is so aromatic it's so fragrant. The Kenyans know what they're doing when it comes to... Mm. The beef is so tender. So tender. And so juicy. And as you're biting into it, you're getting the, the little bits of pods, cardamom pops, and cinnamon sticks. And it's alright, it's edible. It's not going to hurt. But the more you bite into it, the more fragrant it becomes. It's so good. For me, personally, I'm not going to add banana to mine. <laughs> That's not for me. I'll let the Kenyans do their thing. For the first time, Pauline, for the first time, I'm getting spice. For the first time. It allows much spice here. Food. This is the chakpati with the, is it mara? Coconut beans. Coconut beans. How do I say it in? Maharagwe. Maharagwe. Mahara, Maharagwe. Maharagwe. Yeah. So chapati with maharagwe. My Swahili is getting there. And essentially what you do is very simple. You pick up your chapati, you just scoop the beans coat in coconut. And it's cooked in coconut, you can smell it. It's very coconutty, it's very fragrant. You just scoop it in the chapati and you say, 
Hakuna Matata. <laughs> I'm learning. My Swahili is getting better. So there you go. You just scoop it. Mm. That is so good. So, so good. It is so good. It's so good. And it's, it smells great. Honestly, it's like I'm eating perfume. <laughs> Honestly, it's like I'm munching on perfume, man. It's so fragrant. Every time you take a bite, you, you get a different sort of spices or ingredient that comes through. It's, it's banging. Bob. Is this in a clay pot? Is it cooked in this or is it just... No, it is finished in this pot. Okay. Yes. But generally, we, we have what we call a mixture, that mm. is ginger and garlic mm. as our base. Mm. So you have onions and then ginger and garlic. Mm. Then we have what we call a main sauce, mm. which has more than about 14 different herbs. Mm. By that we mean dania. Mm -hmm. What do you call dania in English? Coriander. Coriander, yes. Yeah. A coriander, green pepper, tomatoes, and then. Right. And, and. Yeah, because you can smell the fragrance. You know, yeah. It's, uh, it, it's it, quite intense, it, to be it's fair. Very, very intense. Mm. So we make that main sauce on the side. Mm. And when the chef wants to cook something, mm. he takes a spoon from the mixture, which mm. is ginger, garlic, mm. and then onions. Mm. And then he takes a big spoon of uh, the main sauce. Mm -hmm. Just put and now, then you decide you want with coconut, you want it with masala, you mm. want with uh, groundnuts yeah. and, and different flavors. Oh, wicked, wicked, okay. wicked. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna try the beef masala, and like he said, it's intense flavors, and you can smell the intensity. You can, oh my god, oh my god, wow. The beef is so tender, it's packed with flavour um, and the sauce is, sorry, the sauce itself is smothered in sauce so you're biting into this tender, juicy beef and that sauce is carrying so much intense flavours and that's what make it, makes this a proper dish. Mm. And within it, you got a little bit of potatoes, you got some carrots I believe. You got some peas in there and boy is it spicy it is spicy it's hella spicy mm. love it right so now don't you just love how it's served in this clay pot right we're back in the village i mean served in this clay pot and it's this beautiful it's a nice touch it's a nice touch now we're just going to try a bit of the chicken it's a different cuts of chicken That is wonderful. Again, chicken masala, you can smell the different spices in there. It's intense. It's all those lovely spices that the owner was talking about. Mmm. The chicken is so tender. Juicy. And unlike the beef, the, the sauce ain't overpowering this one. This is subtle. It's much more subtle than this one. But it's really tasty. So if you can have a look, get closer in the, chi the chicken. Get closer. Look at this. Look at the chicken there. It's incredibly tasty. You see how juicy it is. And that chicken. That chicken has soaked up all the flavors as well. I'm loving this. What a great, great place to come and eat. I'm fully enjoying this. Swahili pot bangs for sure.